Yes, Danny Pepper Seed here, live and direct in Kingston, Jamaica. We're at the Skillcraft Yard, the, the headquarters for Bebel Rock Music, and I'm here with Kabaka Pyramid. Kabaka, welcome. Yeah, man, give thanks, greetings, you know. Bless up all of the watchers and listeners, you know. Yes, man. Well, we're all the reggae this, and um, we are trying to push like the young artists and you know help them to reach out there. So, well, today we are here at, at your place in Kingston. Tell the people who who haven't heard about haven't heard about um, Kabaka Pyramid yet. Tell them tell them a bit about yourself. Yeah. Well, give thanks. You know, we give thanks to World of Reggae. You know, what I mean for putting the music out there and thing. You know, I am an artist where. You know, spiritually focus. you know, try to ensure that there's a positive message in each song, you know what I mean, because this is the lifestyle, Rastafari is a lifestyle, and you know what I mean, we, we, we put that out in the music because that's how we live, you know what I mean, when we're there at Skiba Avenue, we just uh, live natural, I eat natural foods and them things, so we talk about them things in the music, you know what I mean, we make music all day, every day, that's what I do, I don't have any other job or any other nine to five or anything like that, you know, it's just straight music, you know, and we, we love, you know, me as a man, we love sports and things, so we might have a, even a one line about some football related <laughs> thing, <laughs> you know, we just make every aspect of our life come out in the music, you know what I mean, so that's the thing that me as a lyricist, I see myself as a lyricist foremost, you know, because I do production as well, but me is more a, a lyricist and vocalist. You know, so I make sure it's every song I do, even if it's a one drop rhythm or it's a, a roots rhythm or if it have a hip hop vibe in it, I still I go come with strong lyrics. You know what I mean? So that's my identity still. Yeah, well, one of the first releases for you was um, this EP called Rebel Music on Bebel Rock Music, your your own label. Yes, sir. That that EP did drop like about two or three years ago now. 2011. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was uh, three years ago. Yeah, man, almost three years. And th well, there was a wicked music. Or there was a wicked tune on it called "Ready for the Road." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, you don't know. Me say me ready for the road. Put me on the radio. Me ready for the road. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's just vibration. That was a song that I produced myself as well. You know, and definitely my favorite song after the EP, Rebel Music EP, it was a ten-track project. We was kind of introducing the world to Kabaka Pyramid, mm. you know, and consolidating the effort at the time. Because that's why we put out projects for food, to consolidate what's going on, you know what I mean, in a one location. So, you know, we put it out for free download because people never really know who Kabaka Pyramid was at the time. So mm. we just wanted to get the music out there for free. And, you know, it, I think it paid off still in the end, you know. Yeah, definitely. And since then, like of uh, of course, like a lot of big things happened. Um, last year, you had a couple of tunes that did very well for you. Um, for one, for example, was um, "No Capitalists" on the Tropical Escape Rhythm that you do for um, Jordan and Hazel yes, Chimney sir. Records. Yes, um, that's a tune that's also on your latest EP. That's that's a topic I want to touch a little bit later on. Well, you did another tune together with um, uh, Chronix and Protege and Sizzler called uh, Selassie Soldiers for um, uh, Royal Order Music from California. And another big one, um, another another one of my favorite, which is also on the on the EP, is um, the track with Taurus Riley for Jati Bennett, Mikey Bennett's on, on the, the, the Selassie Highway rhythm. So how, how does it feel? Because like, you know your music has been accepted now. Like you, you, you got a lot of airplay with those tunes. Yeah. So how does it feel like, like in relatively such a short time, you created a buzz in the scene? Yeah, you know it's a good feeling for now. So the work where you put in starting to to pay off, and you, 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 you know you can see it tangible where the efforts have been. You know what I mean? And to get more and more radio play is always a good thing because we know the the industry. You know it feeds off a radio play. You know that's what people look at to kind of determine, you know, what's going on for our artists. You know, that's how majority of people get to listen to music. Mm. You know, even though internet is, is, is kind of, you know, battling with radio play right now. So we always focus on getting the music out on the internet as well because we can't really control radio play. Because Kabaka doesn't pay for get his music played. Baby Rock don't pay for get our music played. You know what I mean? So 
it's really up to the disc jocks them if they like the music to play it. Mm. You know, and if they like the producers who produce the music. So, you know, as you say, a song like No Cap, No Capitalist and, and Chimney Records, Rhythm, Tropical Escape, you know, because them is the established producers, you know, that the song gets out there, you know what I mean? So people vouch for producers like that and things. So it's always good to work with them and it opened a lot of doors for I and I. Mm. You know, as you mentioned, you know, Selassie Soldiers was a great project, you know. Got to be on a song with one of my musical idols, Sizzler Kalonji. Mm. You know what I mean? And the whole movement with Protege and Chronix. You know, these are artists who I work with more regular. You know, but to be to, to kinda get that validation from a Sizzler was a good feeling and you know, it's just a great vibe, you know, it's uh, the music getting out there. True, and well, you mentioned Protege and Chronix already. Um, of course, like you have um, a combination with uh, with Chronix, you have crum- combination with Protege as well on your first on your first EP. I think the track called Warrior and second EP too. Cause we, we Chronix mixed over the song, mm. you know, cause it was Chronix and Teflon Zinc Fence who produced it. Mm. So we got a different version mixed for the Lead Away EP, you know. So it's on both projects, one with Protege, yes sir. Yeah, and you mentioned the Lead Away EP already. Well, that one was released like November or October, October, November last yeah. year. So pretty recent. Yes. Um, well, you call it an EP, but if I look at the amount of tracks on it, I would say, well, it's just like an LP. Why, why did you decide to call it an EP still? Well, it was, it was strategic because we didn't really want people thinking like this is Kabaka Pyramid in studio doing an album. You know, it's more a compilation True. of songs over the last two years. And we don't really believe, say, a man album should be a compilation, like how many artists have done before. Mm. We believe in going in studio and having a theme and working on a set of songs where flow with each other and, you know, and creating an a, a ambience around an album. So we wanted to put out music at the same time, and we wanted to give certain songs the strength that we feel they deserve, mm. that maybe they didn't really get when the juggling projects and stuff was being put out. So, you know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a strategic move to call it an EP because we just wanted to stay away from the whole album thing, you know? <laughs> yes, I. Yeah, so that EP you now, um, well, I guess you will be promoting it. What, what, what can we expect? What are you going to, to do with it? Like, are there certain tracks that are coming off of it as, as, as a single that you're going to push now? Yeah, you know what I mean? Songs like Teacher Youth was a new song that we put on the EP. You know, it's just being released now as a part of DJ Smurf's Rhythm Juggling, Smartphone Rhythm. You know, Herb Defender was originally released on the EP as well, and that's a part of the Cultivator Rhythm by Royal Order Music. You know, so these are songs I want to push. No cliche is actually, you know, a part of a rhythm project from Flash It Records as well, but that's not slated to be released now. So, you know, we're going to be pushing the single and, you know, hopefully we can do some videos for them real soon. You know what I mean? Some more videos and things for this year. Okay, that sounds very good. Well, now talking about Europe, you know, when when can we can we see you back in Europe again? Because you have been to Europe already like like two times. Okay. Mainly the, like the um, Germany and and Switzerland and Austria, like the German speaking countries. Yeah. So, um you're going to do um, a broader European tour like like um in in months to come? Yeah, man. Um in April, we'll be looking to touch more countries in our Europe, you know, we're looking at France, UK, Portugal, Spain, you know, as well as Germany and and, and, and hopefully we can touch the Netherlands too, you know what I mean? And yeah, the actually I have a point out the, the second tour we did last year we touched some of the Eastern European countries as well, which was a good experience for me. I've never been to places like Czech Republic and mm. you know, Slovakia and places like that, Poland. So it was a good vibration, you know what I mean? Getting to see those places and hopefully we'll get to touch them place there again in April and definitely again in the summer for the festivals. You know? Well, that's good to hear. Um, any other parts of the world that you're planning to go tour um, in, the, in, the, in the next months? Because you don't know it's a world of reggae, so we take the thing global, you know? So there's probably people from Canada and people from America and our South America and Africa and, and our Asia watching too, you know? You come in like, you list all of them a while ago. You know what I mean? Because we're looking for touch back on the West Coast, US, you know, East Coast as well. Um, Canada, Toronto, you know, South America. We're looking at Peru, 
you know we're also looking at brazil if we can work up something for brazil as well um indonesia you know um when early talks about japan as well you know south africa we're looking to touch south africa in april as well so you know all over we'll take it worldwide that year you know well that's good to hear so Watch out for Kabaka Pyramid. Check out the Lead Away EP. Um, no cliche. It's going to be a big track off of it. Um, and, you know, follow the artists. Can they follow you on Twitter and on Facebook? Yes, I, you know, Twitter at Kabaka Pyramid, K A B A K A P Y R A M I D. Twitter is slash Kabaka Pyramid too. Instagram at Kabaka Pyramid. YouTube slash Kabaka Pyramid. You know, for all the videos and songs and releases, SoundCloud slash Bebelrock. That's, you know, um, B E B B L E R O C K. Yes, I. All right. Thanks, Kabaka, for your time, man. Accurate. Give thanks and praise for life. Yeah, Kabaka Prem representing from the Bebelrock camp, Skiba Avenue, Kingston, Jamaica. Give thanks, Royal Reggae Massive. Accurate.